and welcome to D4 Design. Today is the is the start of the new uh, tutorials, which is Autodesk Maya 2020. That begins with the first lesson, which is Maya interface and viewpoint operations. So, what is basically a Maya interface? This interface, this window, is the Maya interface, and the viewpoint operations mean which icon is used for the for for a typical function. So let begin and let's start the the properties and, and the and the icon properties so first this line is my title or menu menu line or menu bar it starts with a file so when you click it you can see that there's an option of new screen open screen increment and so on and then there's a edit option add it so you can undo do cut paste copy and all these options will be shown in edit feature then create in create there are primitives, polygon primitives, volume primitives, light, camera, and all these things will be described in the later section. Then select select for a body, for example, all by part, all by type, inverse, similar, all these things are in reselect. Then modify. Modify is the contents that transformation tools, center pivot point, align tools, snap tools, and etc. Then display window mesh and edit mesh mesh tools mesh display curves surfaces deform uh, then 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 the this is this is the deform deform is, is, a, is very important in, in this, this bath which contains the blend surface uh, cluster tension juggles uh, texture and everything then they will generate uh, when you open the generate, you have to generate different editor library and all these things. Now, the next one, this one is, is known as my status line group. So, this is known as my status line group, which is the most important and the mostly used in my Maya 2020. So, let's begin with the first thing, which is this part, which contains modeling here. So when we, when we drop down, so there are multiple options: modeling, rigging, animation, effects, rendering. All these are basically will will be selected. Let's say I will select rigging, so it will perform rig. Animation perform animation to perform rendering to perform effects. So this is basically uh, known as my menu set file or menu set list. Okay, so this is this modeling section or this section is known as my modeling or menu set list now this one which contains first a new screen then my open scenes then to save then undo and redo this is known as my file buttons so these five five icons are known as my file button then this is which contains uh, object polygons deform and everything this is known as my selection mode okay then this one which contains select by hierarchy and combinations the next one is select by object type and the third one is my select by component type this is known as my selection mode now moving towards the further this button uh, is my add button this is the uh, joint options. This is for curve objects. This is for surface. This is for deformation, dynamic objects, rendering, and miscellaneous objects. RMB for many infos. So this is known as my selection mask buttons. Now this one is my uh, snapping buttons from from here snapping to to grids, then snapping to curve, snapping snap to points. Then this is snap to projected center. This is snap to view plane and make the selected object live. So this these six are known as my snap buttons. Then this is uh, the symmetry. This this function where you can select the object and you can uh, uh, off the symmetry. This is known as my enable symmetry. Uh, folder or en uh, enable symmetry profile. Moving toward this section, this is known as my rendering section. It starts with open render view, then it is a render the current frame, 
then it is show or hide modeling toolkits then it is toggle the character control next one is my show or hide the attribute editor next one is my show or hide the tool settings and the last section or last icon is show or hide the channel box so this is all my status line group below the status line there are the multiple options for example to select the curves or surface you just have to click here this is my circle to create circle uh, nerves we need to, to create a 2d body or to uh, to create a simple sketch we, we need curves or surfaces this is for the sphere this is for my arc or curve this is the pencil tool or, or also known as pencil curve tool this is my three point circular arc this is my uh, basically curve this section is my detach curve this is my insert knot this is my extend curve this one is offset curve this point is rebuild curve this one is my add point tool this is my curve editing tool and the last one is my uh, bezier curve tool okay so these and the and the next one which is also the knots so sphere and from here to, to this end all are my curved surface command or curved surface tool now moving towards the next one which is my poly modeling in poly modeling there is a 3d shape so there is a polygon sphere now the next one is my uh, polygon cube then a polygon slender then a polygon cone then a polygon torus then a polygon plan then a polygon disk and so on uh, from starting from polygon sphere to to the to my last surface which is the last icon to create uv texture sculpting basically lift a surface used to lifting to smooth the surface next one is my smooth the surface of a mesh without changing its original shape then the last one is my pull a single single vertex then a pull a soft edge and so on so this is all included in my sculpting then the rigging the rigging uh, includes different different icons for example create locator first one is my create locator then the next one is my uh, this this which is create joints then the create handle then bind scan then the quick rig and then human human ik which is known as display the character control window then animation so in animation the first is my uh, play blast so preview animation by screen capture frame and so on then rendering then fx then fx uh, caching custom arnold then uh, before mesh motion graphics and xgen so all these properties are included in this section which basically uh, enables by just clicking for example if you have to create curves or surfaces you just click on this and then create uh, then select a circle or a or a uh, sphere to create a 2d body now the next one is my this line this basically vertical line this vertical line start with a select tool which is which enables directly or the shortcut of this select tool is just simply clicking q on the keyboard now the next one is my lasso tool is is generally used when you have to drawing the freedom or free form shape around the surface okay let's say you have you have created a created a single point and you have created this single point throughout the surface so you have so you have to use the lasso lasso this this lasso tool then a pen selection tool okay for painting then the next one is to move tool move tool basically is used for the moving of the of the body and we can we can select or the shortcut of the move tool is w now the rotate tool to to rotate the body uh, you have to click this or the shortcut of this is e and and this is for scale tool you have to click it or the shortcut is r now this section which is the section is known as uh, layout section so first is the panel layout this panel layout is is the default panel layout then this you have, just you have to click where there is front view top view and side view will be shown then this view and then uh, a vertical or, or or layout which contains a simple 
front front view top view or side view okay so this is all my all my layout the geometrical parameters of my autodesk maya so hope you understand it i will i will cover the first feature which is uh, primitives so in in the next tutorial hope you enjoy if you have any question please comment and then i will answer you uh, regarding the question take care and goodbye